Ronaldo's career cannot be ending this way. For a player who's given this sport so much, no, he deserves a better ending than playing in the Saudi League. So today, I'm gonna give Ronaldo the happy ending he deserves. Let's rewind the clock to just after the World Cup before Ronaldo made this move to Al Nasser. Ronaldo was apparently training with Real Madrid and he was expecting a call from Florentino Perez, but it never came and that makes me sad. Ronaldo has done so much for Real Madrid, at least they could have put an offer on the table, but they they didn't but what if in this scenario they did and so we have Cristiano Ronaldo signing a contract for Real Madrid on reduced wages in this alternate reality we're gonna give him the happy ending he deserves Cristiano Ronaldo back at Real Madrid I think somewhere all football fans wanted to see this happen I still believe if we can make the team right to work for Cristiano Ronaldo he can still guide us to the Champions League it's Mr. Champions League man he can still do it but we need to build this Madrid team around him. To give Ronaldo his happy ending, the team needs to be built around him. We cannot have another situation like Man United. Otherwise, he's just going to get himself benched here too. And so ultimately, we got to decide between Benzema and Ronaldo because I don't think they can play together. I know they've played together before, but this is different. Benzema's 34, Ronaldo's 38. I'm putting Benzema on the transfer list. And so Karim Benzema was sold. Hilariously enough, he was sold to Manchester United. Imagine Eric Ten Hag Benzema benching him there. And now our job is to build this team perfectly for Cristiano Ronaldo to do what he does best, be in the box, score them goals. And one big change I'm already making is putting Fede Valverde in the team. With Ronaldo, we will need runners in midfield and I think Fede Valverde will be crucial. If you remember Ronaldo's time at Real Madrid, you will know how dependent the game was on the fullbacks and having a fullback to deliver those crosses to Ronaldo is the key. Carvajal can surely do it because he's done it before. But I'm not too sure about Furlan Mendy having that in his locker. And so we bring in a left back to be the Marcelo of this era and help Ronaldo in his quest to winning the Champions League one more time. And that is, of course, Alfonso Davies. We've swapped out Furlan Mendy for him. I think this is what Ronaldo needs. We've got the fullback to play the crosses. We've got the legs in midfield to cover up for Ronaldo's lack of defensive effort. But I think we also need a winger who can cross the ball and create for Ronaldo. And so Phil Foden is the next signing we make. He's the player I think that's going to do the dirty work for Ronaldo and also create all the chances for him. We had to pay 150 million for him though. And so with that, I think we've got our team to be perfectly set up to help Ronaldo succeed. And if we can do that, I think we can win at Ronaldo's sixth Champions League. It's now time to start the season in our first games against Atleti. This is going to be a good way to see whether Ronaldo can still compete at the highest level. And the answer, well, take a look. Phil Foden looking for Ronaldo controlling it oh that's a classic Cristiano Ronaldo goal he still got it you build the team around him give him the ball in the box he will still score Ronaldo's found a bit of space in the box and when you give him space in the box he is gonna score that's Cristiano Ronaldo for you and that performance against Atleti sums up how we need to get this team functioning if the rest of the 10 players can play for Ronaldo he will still score and deliver you don't don't just lose your goal poaching abilities in a season. Ronaldo still has it and we're gonna give him the happy ending. That happy ending would be winning the Champions League one last time and the journey begins now. Ronaldo has missed the Champions League for a reason. He was dominating the games. Oh, chance for Ronaldo and once again in the box, you get the ball to him. He's just gonna score goals for you. Cristiano Ronaldo in the Champions League. It was inevitable. Vinicius Jr. now looking for the ball back for Ronaldo. Ronaldo setting it up brilliantly for him. That's what I'm saying. This team is playing for Ronaldo. And look at the success. Looking for Ronaldo. Oh, Ronaldo. He's still got that shooting ability. And he's proving it in the Champions League. He scored in every game so far. Even though things are going well in the Champions League, our first big opponent, Barcelona, exposed us. Oh, no. Our defense has been exposed. As Robert Lewandowski's through. No, no. We can't catch up to him. And it's a rocket into the back of the net. Ah, this is the issue with Ronaldo. Defending-wise, we're always in a disadvantageous situation. And so we end up losing our first Clasico with Ronaldo barely doing anything in this game. And this made me realize, against equally matched opponents, this team is getting exposed. And that's because we're defending with 10 men, mostly even 9 men, because Luka Modric also doesn't have the legs. And so now the goal is in January to get another midfielder to add some more legs into the midfield. Regardless, I think we're still 
still getting the best out of Cristiano Ronaldo, the maximum that we can get out of him. He's gone down by only one overall, but has scored 21 times in 26 games. He's missed the Champions League for a reason. Eight goals in the group stages. And because of that, we've topped our group with a perfect record. Since it's the January transfer window, we made the move to sign Jude Bellingham, a swap deal for Tony Cruz. I think this is what Ronaldo needs in the midfield. The energy is there in the midfield. The attack is creative. There's a lot of pace. Everything is designed to have Ronaldo to succeed. And in the Champions League knockouts, Ronaldo delivered. Ronaldo with his left foot. Oh, what a strike from Cristiano Ronaldo against Napoli in the Champions League. Brilliant. And with that, Real Madrid were through into the Champions League quarterfinals. Meanwhile, in La Liga, the race for the title is heating up between Madrid and Barca. Remember, Ronaldo didn't do anything against Barca in the first game. This is his chance to score at the Camp Nou and get another iconic moment. And this time, Ronaldo was not going to miss the moment. Phil Foden's gliding and looking for Ronaldo. Of course, it is him. In the 87th minute, Cristiano Ronaldo silences the camp now. He gets his classical moment as well. This is turning out to being perfect. That goal should help Ronaldo and Madrid to win La Liga. With the league in the bag, it's now time to focus on the Champions League where we've got Man City next. But we've got Ronaldo playing perfectly in this role and there's no stopping him. Alfonso Davies looking for Ronaldo. I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. Inside the box, you give him one chance, he scores. In the Champions League semi-finals, it was Leverkusen and in this game, Ronaldo became the oldest player to score a Champions League hat-trick. Alfonso Davies looking for Ronaldo and it's another goal in the Champions League for him. Ronaldo going inside. Oh, so much space to work with. He gets another one. That's a brace for Cristiano Ronaldo. There's way too much space here for Cristiano Ronaldo. Controls it well with his left foot. I think it's a perfect hat-trick for Cristiano Ronaldo. Just unbelievable. And so Ronaldo gets one more chance at eternal glory. And of course, it had to be PSG in the final. So this is it. Messi versus Ronaldo once again in the Champions League final. The last time it happened was 2009 and Messi came through. This is Ronaldo's shot at redemption. Meanwhile, Madrid managed to secure La Liga. So in his final season at Madrid, Ronaldo wins the league and now could win the Champions League. In this Messi versus Ronaldo battle, it was Messi who had the first chance. And Mbappe looking for Leo Messi. Messi striking first. Courtois makes the save. But soon after, Ronaldo responded. Oh, what a ball that is for Asensio. Heading it back for Ronaldo. The header saved somehow. I don't know how. And finally, Cristiano Ronaldo gets his big Champions League moment over Messi. And Ronaldo scores. Oh, I didn't expect that. Cristiano Ronaldo scores out of nowhere in the box. Speed of space is all he needs. And he scored. And finally, towards the end, End of the game, Ronaldo gets the checkmate Messi. Alfonso Davies looking for Ronaldo, and he ends the Champions League by scoring in the 90th minute. He gets one massive dub over Leo Messi. This is how Ronaldo wanted to exit from the Champions League. Ronaldo manages to win the Champions League's player of the tournament, scoring a ridiculous 17 goals in 13 games. But even after all that, Ronaldo didn't get the call up to the Portuguese national team, and this really hurt him. After seeing Messi win the World Cup, Ronaldo wants to win something with his country, and he's targeting the Euros 2024, but he's still not being picked for the Portuguese national national team. I guess he's got one more year to prove the Portugal coach that you know what? He needs to be in that squad. Over 65% of you guys watching my content haven't subscribed. We're getting closer and closer to 600k. I need the support, boys. Subscribe to the channel. But Cristiano Ronaldo's story is not done yet. He's got his last dance with Real Madrid. He now wants to get back into the Portuguese national team. What better way to do it than, well, playing for sporting. Yes, we've got Cristiano Ronaldo back at his boy hood club and this is where he can just enjoy his football and have the fans support him all while trying to impress the portuguese fans to take him back and honestly ronaldo's actually entering a really good sporting team they're in the champions league the goal is to win the league this could be fun for ronaldo to help ronaldo achieve success here at sporting we've got some of his former teammates coming in including sergio ramos wasn't just ramos tony cruz as well is coming to sporting this is going to be ronaldo's final season as a professional footballer he deserves 
deserves to have the fans cheer his name constantly. And guess what? Mr. Champions League gets another shot at playing in the Champions League because Sporting have got to play playoffs. That's right, Ronaldo's return to Sporting couldn't have been more perfect. He gets a chance to play for them in the Champions League against Anderlecht. First game back in his boyhood club, of course he was going to score. Ronaldo making that run into the box and it's a classic Cristiano Ronaldo goal. One more time in the Champions League. And so with the help of Cristiano Ronaldo, Sporting were now in the Champions League group stages. But life in Sporting wasn't easy. This was in the Real Madrid super team. The Sporting teammates Ronaldo had looked pretty average. Let's see if we can get that cross in for Ronaldo. What is that for a cross? Oh my days. And because of the team being very average, Sporting end up getting knocked out in the Champions League group stages. That's it for Ronaldo's career in the Champions League. But what a ride. But Sporting genuinely have a chance to win the league. And if Ronaldo can guide Sporting to the title, surely he gets back in the Portuguese national team. And of course, Ronaldo knows what's at stake. He's gonna deliver. Oh, what a ball for Ronaldo. And what a finish from Cristiano. Ronaldo. He wants that league title. Ronaldo, what a goal. He wants that league title. He's coming for it. And yes, with Ronaldo's incredible second half performances, they managed to win the league. A crazy season for Ronaldo as he had 38 goals in 44 games. With that, there is no way he's not getting picked for the Euros. And yes, Cristiano Ronaldo does indeed get the call up for the Portuguese national team. The Euros could be his ultimate last dance. And looks like Ronaldo has a tremendous challenge in this Euros. Germany, Poland, Portugal, Croatia. What even is that group? This is now a 39-year-old Ronaldo. His pace has dropped off. His stats are dropped off. This is going to be his last ever tournament and we need to get that Euros trophy with him. The first game of the Euros ends in a nil-nil draw. Ronaldo couldn't score. He couldn't do anything pretty much. This level is different. This game against Poland was absolutely must win and Portugal delivered. Oh, Rafael Leao has just gone all the way. What a goal from Rafael Leao. This team is not just all about Ronaldo. But unfortunately for Portugal, Ronaldo wasn't clicking. Rafael Leao, Ronaldo. Oh, it's not clicking for a man at the Euros. He feels sluggish. He feels slow. The same, the same Ronaldo we saw at Real Madrid. They still managed to win the game courtesy of Jao Felix. If Ronaldo doesn't perform well in this final group stage game, there's a good chance, just like the World Cup, he gets benched again. I'm seeing what I can do to make this team function more for Ronaldo. I just can't seem to figure it out. Unlike at Real Madrid and Sporting, the team is not going to be built around him. He's going to have to perform. Otherwise, he'll just get benched. This was do or die for Ronaldo. His legacy was on the line. Can he deliver? Ronaldo has made a good run. Gets the ball, but look at how slow he is. But still, he's got the shooting ability. He might not have the pace that he had before, but he gets his goal at Euros 2024 at the age of four. Ronaldo has done it. With that, Portugal had managed to top the group and they're through to the quarterfinals of the Euros, where they're going to be up against Wales. But would you believe Ronaldo's luck? Just as he hit form, he gets injured at the Euros. Is this the end of his career? It's only a bruised leg injury that he got in that last game, but that's going to keep him out for about four to five days. Unless the rest of his Portuguese teammates step up and get Portugal to the next round, this might be the end of Ronaldo. It completely depends now on Ronaldo's teammates. Is that it for Ronaldo's career or will his Portuguese teammates step up? Bernardo Silva looking for Goncalo Guedes. It's a lovely ball. Guedes gets the goal and somebody other than Ronaldo has stepped up for Portugal. That could be the goal that sends them through to the semi-finals. Portugal knock out Wales without Ronaldo and they go through. Next up it's Belgium in the semi-finals of the Euros and Ronaldo is fit but he's just coming off an injury. Do we want to just directly play him? It's Cristiano Ronaldo, guys. I'm taking the risk. And in the semi-finals against Belgium, Ronaldo had the first chance. Ronaldo Silva finding Ronaldo. This could be his moment. Oh, Ronaldo skies it. Is it maybe the injury? He looks frustrated. Soon after, Belgium had a golden chance to take the lead. Belgium with a chance and they're looking dangerous. It's Lukaku. What a save from our keeper. Ultimately, this is a semi-final of the Euros. It was going to be a moments game. And is it going to be Ronaldo's moment? Felix. Cancelo, 
doing really well. Looking for Ronaldo, and he puts it home. You give him a chance in the box. It's Cristiano Ronaldo. That could be the goal that sends Portugal to the Euros final. And this is it for Cristiano Ronaldo. His last ever professional game is going to be against Germany in the Euros final. And this time, he will get to play the final. It's the Euros final. It's going to be a tense game, but you won't believe the start. Rafael Leal looking for the ball for Ronaldo. First chance, of course. It's a Cristiano Ronaldo header to put his team into the lead of the Euros final. Unbelievable. Look at the movement from the 40-year-old man. Unbelievable. The header as well. The perfect start. And with Ronaldo's goal, the complete momentum was with them. And they then struck with the killer blow. Oh, Rafael Leal, what a finish. Portugal are running rampant now. Ronaldo has the supporting cast. They could have pulled it off. And it's done. Cristiano Ronaldo gets the happy ending he deserves. Winning the Euros. In his last three years of his career, he's won the Champions League, the league with sporting. And now, his second ever Euros title. He may never with the World Cup. What he's done here is unbelievable. With that, we've completed our task of giving Ronaldo a happy ending. If you enjoyed the video, I'm sure you'll enjoy me giving Deli Ali a happy ending for his career too. Click somewhere here to watch it.